Hello everyone. Today I wanna I wanna show you how to create a dynamic door. It's a very very important tutorial. Before start, make sure to subscribe my channel to see new amazing videos. First, let's uh, let's create a door by rectangular. Give it dimension 0.5 by 0.2. Another rectangle. Start from here. Give the dimension 0.5 0.9. Press enter. Why I give the knowledge? Why it seems from center start. So first point on the next. Sorry. Why it I? Why it C center point. From here, next point, press control to change the direction. Copy this part, select it, enter. Now, on the keyboard, right, wipe out. Select this one, wipe out from this point a little above to this point a little above this point a little bit down and this point a little bit down. Press enter. Select this rectangular. Go to draw order, send to back. Now on the keyboard right, wipe out frame. This value is 1. We wanna change this one to 0. To of this comma, as you see, turn it off this one. Let's change that. This part double click by layer with this color. Now let's change this to a block. Go to insert, create block, give it a name. Door one for example. Specify point here for example. Select object. All object select press enter. Black windows matters. After that click. Okay. Now we make a door. We delete this one and get a rectangle offset from the door. Right insert on the keyboard. Sorry. Right insert on the keyboard. Press enter. You see here your door. One. Click here. As you see, this is my door. Okay, close this one. Click this. Sorry. Now, I want to give it an action to this door. Double click on this 
¿no? After that, click OK. This window open it. From here, from parameters, first let's give it a linear. Select it linear. From here to here, cell. After that, find PR properties. Enter, select distance. We just need this direction. We don't need this from properties. The section may miss it. Number of grids change to one. Just this one, okay? Now let's give the action. Go to action, select stretch. Select the parameter, distance, our parameter, select this one. Specify parameter point, this point, select it. First corner, for example, first corner. Select object, two object. This and after that press enter. Now, from action, again, select stretch, select parameter distance, parameter point here, select this corner, and object it, this object, press, enter. Now, from scratch, Second sketch, click from properties, angle of, of offset from 0 change to 90. Okay, let's test our block here. Yeah. As you see, but this part. Don't change it. Close the test block. We want to give it an, a scale. From actions, select scale. Select parameter, distance. Select object, this part. Press enter. Go to test block. Let's test. See, now it's okay about the direction. Close this block. Another parameter. Base point is very important. Base point is here. Okay, and flip. Select flip. And semita. This direction. Flip state one. Go to actions. Give it an action. Select flip. Select your parameter, flip state. Select object. Write all. Press enter. Press enter. Now let's check for the test block. It is working, but if you change the direction, this flip 
dot in the middle in the center okay close the test block from actions select move select parameter distance on the point parameter here yeah, select object flip state press enter from here select this move and distance multiplier change to 0.5 press enter now let's test our blue As you see, the flip in the center point. Okay. Let's add another flip. Roll down and above. Select flip from parameters. On base point. Direction go to actions, select flip, select parameter, and right of two objects. Press enter, enter. Now let's test our block. As you see, now close this block. And close. Yes, save the change to the one. Now, if you delete, you delete our block and make a rectangular. Return offset on window. Right insert door block door one. Select it. As you see, we can flip. And change the direction. Thanks for watching, guys.